Okay, hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So it's me again. Uh, in this lesson today, I will guide you how to view the simulation and calling for the for blink LED with the analog signal come from button. So the first, just like and subscribe to supporting me and watch a lot of video in the future. So in this lesson today, we need to build a simulation first. You need to open product. Okay, the lesson before I guide you how to blink LED with the digital white signal okay so this lesson today we use the analog signal connect with the button to control the LED so you choose the new for project new project Here I change this name, Simul Relation, and here you choose the path to set the this project. I save in the top, playing LED, okay. So you check the next. Okay, the first we choose the equipment. Yeah, it's so, F675 double click LED. I choose the green LED. You just do double click and button. Yeah, register. You choose the zero policy watt. Yeah, and uh, master. Double click. Okay. So here is our microcontroller. You can see. Pixel F675. The first I need to connect with the reset pin GP3. So here I'm using the button. Yeah, register and capacitor. I change this value to zero dot one microfarad, and I connect here to the ground. Here I connect to the power. Okay. Connect the power and uh, the first I connect with the LED. So the LED I will connect to the pin GP0. GP0 and here is the crystal, uh, here is the resistor. I change this value 220 ohm. You can just using 240. Okay. Connect to this pin. And here I connect the ground. Okay. So now I connect the button. Here is our button. Register. So this button I connect with the high level. Okay. High level. I will explain later. Okay. And here I connect to the power. 
and here I can make the route and here I can make to the uh, ZP5 okay so the simulation have done as you can see we just using this button when we press we just to take the signal input from the ZP5 and using this signal to control this LED maybe I using this signal come from this button to blink this LED okay so just double click here and you can see we just using formula head okay so now we are going to coding for this project we need to open CCS compiler Here yeah, we choose the file in the file to project wired. In the desktop, okay, this folder. Here you can change this name. You can using another name, but here I'm using the default name, main, okay. So to the big tail and big tail six seven five here and here you just remember this we do the internal okay internal and we do the formula head internal it mean we using the internal pools okay internal pool so we don't need to use in crystal okay yeah it was it after that, we need to review for me. Review. And you can see in the file. If you can see this file, you just click to view. And here, okay, you get to select or select file, okay. In the main dot is library, you can see internal format here. And ADC skin, we can change this when we attend, when we learn the lesson ABC okay so in the main see okay we set a coding in here so if I just do receive the input signal come from the button it inputs in I5 equal zero why input pin i y equal zero output turn low turn low pin i zero okay so here is equal zero because as you can see here I can make with the high level and high level when we press this button okay this signal come from in the ZP5 pin it's a low value okay it's a low value it's a low signal and in the normal status you can see here is a high level and high level this signal will come from the high level okay and when we press okay when we press this signal come from is a zero I mean the low level okay so we need to review okay review double click and do the uh, head file okay double click okay Okay, and you can see in the normal status. Okay, normal status. The signal come from the pin ZP5 is a high level. Okay, and when we press, as you can see, when we press, this status came to the low signal. Okay, low signal. It means why I 
using the echo yellow okay echo yellow the, it means when input pin i5 echo yellow echo yellow is mean when we press this button okay okay and when we change this title you can see rgp and yellow okay uh, let me check so i put turn go okay because when i put turn go i just change change the status change the status status but the first the first we need to we need to make the status for pin i zero okay so here is a we channel okay channel and when we press this button we can this status like is off we can turn go it means turn on and we can again is a turn off okay we do right okay so the reason why you can see you can see the reset button i need to connect with the reset pin dp3 okay so here i go here and i mark the label mark the label and see okay and here i need to mark the label okay when i mark this label and this label it means gp3 pin connect with here okay so now you can see right press and then you don't need don't press change status press on press off press on and you can see input okay input come from this button echo zero and when we can see we just turn off and you can see okay okay so in this lesson i guide you how to make the simulation with the button and how to read the analog signal come from the button and using this signal to control the led so this lesson today have done just like and subscribe to watch a lot of video in the future and if you have any question just comment below or contact with me via email via whatsapp or skype okay so this lesson is done see you in the next time